Right, so here we are back in the prison. Our way to free our friend, the hand of the inheritor, and maybe face down a pregnant drow of all things. Okay, here we go the seal. Heidi Klum doesn't get jealous. Let us be off. It went splendidly. Judging with the dark or engulfing obelisk, it's many is full of crushing despair. Let's get that out of here. That's right, dear Nudu. Turn base mode again. That's pretty fun, actually. Except when it isn't. Yet another obstacle. Frustrating. You should have listened to reason. Wah. Damn a woman. So Walk it off. This one's mine. You are nothing before me. That's right, so yes, sir. Forward. Yeah, tell you, sir. I'll remove this obstacle. Save. Your will save will not save you. Walter. 
My logic is that a blind shooter doesn't do much. Hey. Be gone, fiend. Retreat is not an option. Strike with all your might. Make every strike count. Ready for battle? What do you think I've been doing, dumbass? Do. There's a little bit. It suppresses different conditions. Okay. I've really looked at that before for some reason. Hello! Join the battle. She's coming to the arena with a lawn chair. She has fire breath, but luckily we have this. Test attack, yeah. Mm. 
take a look at the stats here. Freedom of movement. So this can't really be paralyzed. True saying, because regeneration, so we're going to have to use coup de grace. He's immune to a bunch of shit. Poison, curse, sleep, moving, fire. Wow. Um. Let's try this. Oh, I did something, didn't it? Sounds nice. Her will saving throw succeeded, but she it is possible to actually get that though. So what can you do again? Oh, Canadian, but you shouldn't even need Serenity now, serenity now. Probably a plus up home, yeah. Fire, but do we have like a polar ray type thing we can use? That's not nice. There's completely some. Come on, there's gonna be something here. Single shot stuff. Immune to fire, she's not immune to like the evil badness in it. Look at that. How many health does she have left? Negative 77? What the hell's up with that? Oh, there we go. Did you really cut the grace thing out? No. We won't falter. Oh. 
Down she goes, yes sir. Um, let's get our melee out here. Get him on deck, in case he can go next turn, because his people usually screw this up. Regal, will you have the honors? Yes, sir. Just like that. I will lend you my aid. I'm always open to ideas. Yes. Are we in trouble yet? Trust. What we got here? Now? Hey, chief, aren't you worried Slimming Duck will skin you alive? You were the one of the old warden's favorites and all. Don't you go spreading false rumors, Lady Aponovicius is too strong. She couldn't have died. She'll be back and she'll make that upstairs Savendek pay. You're an idiot, Chief. Should have sworn you're loyal to the elf right away, like we did. Splat. Ah, they're killing each other, that's hilarious. Awaken the magic circle. Why would I want to do that? Alright, right, Chief, we'll save you. We'll save, we'll save, we'll save. Make every strike count. All of what you do. Stop there. You crossed the wrong mile. <laughs> this disordered reflection appears in this cloudy mirror only after a while. It emerges and laughs in your face. A bloody slash gapes on its throat. You know what, you're going to your throat slash, I should be laughing at you. Mmm, Baphomet. 
menacing horned figure appears in the mirror's reflection. A sharp, hateful gaze pierces you, and you can almost feel your soul being turned inside out. I see you, mortal. It is your own folly that has driven you to my realm. I sense an octiculous hand in this. Ever since war broke out between us, she has gone to ground, preferring to send her pawns to fight in her stead. You must have outlived your usefulness to her if you have, sac you have sacrificed yourself in such a pointless manner. You do realize that no matter what she has promised you, she will not be coming to protect you this time. She is no match for me here in my realm, so you are completely alone. What is this place? This was once the place of my own imprisonment. Asmodeus, enraged by my attempt to steal from him, confined me here for an eternity of torment. Lamash, too, had renounced me and left me to rot, but as you can see, I managed to slip away and take this little toy with me. Now the inelectable prison is the heart of my realm in the abyss. No soul can escape me here, be it a prisoner or a slave who gave me their life to me. All from the most worthless cultists to Hepsimira, whom I killed in the mines of Colifir, remain here. For they're all mine. How did you escape from Moses' prison? You would never understand, mortal. Imprisonment begins here. Adamus presses a cloud of his forehead against the burning, bleeding pentagram of Asmodeus. Once I had passed through a maze of my own mind, I tricked it by destroying the very notion of imprisonment. I created a lie where I was free and made the multiverse itself believe. What? Too complicated for you to follow? That's understandable. Even I couldn't fathom these mysteries at first. It took me years to ponder the knowledge given to me by Harish Kegel, the Faceless Sphinx. Release the Hand of the Inheritor. Release whom? Ah, the Angel. What good he is he to you now that I wrenched out his virtuous heart and ordered my minions to hack it with knives, tear it to pieces, and cinch its flames? What would you want to do with the deranged, desperate clot of rage and pain? Did someone lead you to believe you could still save him? Ha! Even Iomede would have no use for him anymore. It appears you have been sent here more like a lamb to the slaughter. You have been fed some asinine tale about an important mission so that you'd rush towards your death without hesitation. He's our friend. If he's still alive, then he can be saved. What do you want from me? Kneel before me and break the oaths you've sworn to your masters. For only thus may you mitigate the punishment that awaits you. Very soon, my host will put an end to this foolish venture you call a crusade. Do you know why this place was named the Inelectable Prison? The Prince of Darkness is Modius. Upon creating this maze, willed that none would ever escape its walls. Those were no mere words, it was an enchantment, a definitive, indisputable order. Many souls have perished here since. The most cunning and dexterous of thieves would come to test the magic of Asmodeus, and none of them would make it back out. I was only one who found a loophole in Asmodeus' decree. I did not simply find my way out of the maze, I took it back to the abyss with me, turning it into a realm of my own. What about you, mortal? What is your escape plan? What key will you use to unmake the sorceries of the inelectable prison? How will you find your way through the tangled corridors of the labyrinth? What hope can you possibly have of matching me? The way can't be found, it can only be made. A clever answer! You would make a bright slave. When you're groveling at my feet, I might consider me educating you. A primal scream of pain hits your ears. The walls shudder, you hear something crumble with a dull, thundering noise in the distance. The floor under your feet ships like an undulating back of beast rudely awakened. I take it my minions have resumed their work on the angel. To observe his agony is an exquisite delight. It feels as if I am experiencing that unbearable pain myself, and you will experience it as well. What? The glass hit them and it hurt them? 
My will is resolute. Hurricane chick. Oh, that worked. There it is. Meditor on your path suddenly sneers and opens his blood red maw, and the low, mockingly cheerful voice of Baphomet comes out. I wonder when you'll finally accept your doom. You mortals are so amusing in your attempts to oppose us, the Lords of the Abyss. You fight, risk your necks, and make sacrifices, yet we still push you back without the slightest inconvenience. Do you think anyone will remember your self-sacrifice a scant decade from now? All will forget your name and the names of those who came before you, the Glorion. We will ruled by my mighty brood, with the br blood of the Lord of Beasts himself coursing through their veins. My offspring will inhabit your lands, and soon the lineage of every living soul on Glorion will be traced back to me, and every breathing body will bear my burning seal. Our leal Vorlish will need my armies, and Glorion will drown in blood. Trust your armies to Raylilu Vorlish? Yes, now that Hepsimera has failed me, Raylilu Vorlish has become my new general. She has already told me everything she could discover from Nocticula, and this knowledge has been quite valuable. What's more, Arilu still serves Discari and reports all his orders and designs to me. She has proven herself a competent spy despite her mortal origins. I have exalted Arilu and made her my first slave. But do not be so quick to underestimate me. I know full well that she will betray me whenever the opportunity presents itself, but I plan to betray her first. I met another one of your daughters, Rosala. Rosala bet everything lost. She invoked my name when she was on the brink of defeat, but I did not answer. Why would I? I am not in the habit of playing favorites among my offspring. They must earn their place by tearing their competition to shreds. The weak must be weeded out to keep the blood strong. Orzala was stronger in a fight, but Hepsimera was more cunning and vicious, which is why she prevailed. Why should I nourish the shoots of weaker branch when I can give my attention to one that's stronger? you going to abandon all your servants, or is it going to go just lucky? I place various seals upon my slaves. There are those that grant power, those that bring delight, those that inflict pain, those that simply mark their bodies as mine. Minago failed me, and I encouraged her to correct her mistake. The seals tormented her every breath, draining her strength, and only by destroying you would she be free of them. Fortunately for her, she failed. I've already defeated Hepsimera. Maybe a daughter. I'll handle the rest of them. You speak of Hepsimera as if you're helping your words will wound me. You've killed one of my descendants, and her specter now wanders these halls. Am I supposed to care? I could spawn hundreds, thousands more. Among them, there will be those in whom my blood is stronger, and they will surpass Hepsimera. Believe me, I possess none of my father's sentimentality, for I am not a father to them, but their creator and their god. You stop cowering behind your minions. Are they my seed and my spawn? My faithful worshippers not part of me? Do they even consider themselves separate from their master? You cling to the notion of individuality without realizing that your own self does not exist. You are but an instrument that has been grasped by several hands at once. And your destiny, your actions, and even your thoughts are theirs to control. You don't understand? No matter, you will and you will wander the darkness of my labyrinth for an eternity, but you have the illusion of selfhood. How will you know who you are then? 
recall the text of the demon worshippers? Like you, I'll stop being a prisoner and become a monster. You don't even realize how alike we are, mortal. Just that, just as I was once, you've been betrayed by your own patroness. It's time for you to die. Loving is a swollen altar, often is pouring generous doses of power. You seek to battle me? I will sacrifice the body of one of my faithful to show you a fraction of my true might. Okay, so that's our now. You should have listened to reason. Path not chosen. Last part. This isn't fire. Evasion. Instant enemy. Favorite enemy, dwarves and humans. Bonds mask. We need some friends on, shall we? Kneel before me. Where are you going? Hell then. Durden's frightened? He can't be frightened. He's immune to fear. What the hell? I 
команды. Survive me. He has a dispel, doesn't he? That's more like it. Yes, sir. What's the aspect of smiling on him? Okay, that helps a lot. Well done, Socio. I owe you a Coke. That's not good at all. Just to be sure this guy is like a chaotic lineman.
Get to attack. Why can I target this guy? It's driving me crazy. Visibility, blinding ray, what's it called? There it is. That it? Real this time? Okay. Been mistaken this wretched mortal for a stuffed effigy, if not for the eyes alive and full of pain. English tick swarm. I'll double save just to be safe. Svendak! Prisoners groaning in unbearable pain as they're eaten alive by a swarm of horrible creatures. The gracious monsters are bloated, keep growing in size. My babies! The brood lord himself, who prep so fast. Look here! Look what tasty meal mommy has prepared for you, the vile scum of Glorion. As insulted our master, maybe as a reward for his death, the great Baphomet will give your mommy his loyal bitch, Arilu, so I can take her place as Archpriestess. And then, my sweet children, we'll ascend and rule. As you can see, fate has been kind to me. When I've had these little darlings, they're all healthy and very hungry. I'm glad you arrived just in time for their meal. Well, they handle the inheritor. All well, little birds get to sit in the sturdiest cage, but you haven't found it, have you? And you never will. I'll gladly show you your own prison. Please wait just so long, or good angel. We're coming to help very, very soon. Time to die. Here's your second course. The horrid creatures are out there. Bloody feasts focus all their attention on you. Their soft flesh is bound in moist, shining carapaces, and fat bodies rest on their articulate legs. The eyelash heads have fierce looking jaws and snapping which drowns its family's mad cat. We will be victorious. We treat 
Retreat is not an option. There's a lot of help. It's your deal anyway. You should have listened to reason. Distance to fire and cores. Clings to you. This is a double check. Came in clutch today, Amber. 
kill the wretched victim, dare I? If I kill them here, their souls will wander around aimlessly, won't they? The warden's key. Any cell? Oh, they'll come in handy. Circles. I'm going to tell them two labyrinths, I'm going to put the stories to five years for two minutes twice per day. Well! Wow. This sounds delightful, doesn't it? Seems the one that enjoyed the suffering of Brindley so much, she even by herself the panoramic view of the prison cells from her office. Oh. Mortal before you turned into a doll is looking in desperation. There's one plea in a gaze to be granted peace. Sour guts broth? Oh boy, my mouth is watering already. Indomitable Punisher. Dark Nights by Matthew Serge. So, a beautiful bound box in a pitiful state. Find his torn, the cover is burnt, pages in the soil, ripped out, and legends described in the remaining pages is covered in scribbles and crossing zips. This is probably important, probably has to do with a puzzle or something, so let's look at it. So, time's fast, there's a blind mortal woman, raw up to daylight from birth, but ever, having seen the true world around her, she lost her mind at a young age. What a strange passion for things, lives avoided like the plague. Of all their pleasures and joys, little she hears death. The rest of the line is scratched out, and her words below read, Silly woman never met a succubus. Though the fate was cruel to her, the woman dubbed Ash and Lady was kind and generous soul, especially to those who were her liking. To them, she would give the most precious gift she could imagine death. The most artful and beautiful of ends, granted, was the Ashen Death. This page is torn to make out the writing under the betrayal ditch. Amateur. Any immortal was sent to a better place. By the Ashen Lady, she was incredibly skilled and deft at her craft. Seemingly weak and helpless, she could bring out the pity and compassion of those dear to her, and these emotions were followed by a swift death. No one could believe the blind woman was capable of these kind of treachery and stealth the Ashen Lady employed. Only those who were destined to die by her hand knew the secret. She would mark her death victims, the curse, and then follow it sent like a tireless hound. You notice the scrawling seven page of each dribble. The Ash Lady bought much more misery than her friends and loved ones, had she not received retribution for her sins. Upon hearing words for some crafty murderer, she passed her own misdeeds. The grim accomplished Bassman's cultists disposed of her rival. They captured her and dragged her down to the abyss. A scribble on the side read serves her right, which ways to ourselves. She's here? Oh boy. Dawn Flowers Kiss. It's just a plus five scimitar. That must belong to her, I bet. I bet we can get her in her party, can't we? You're a good person. I like you. Esmond. 